Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Agentpreneur Show. Uh, we have a very interesting discussion for you guys today as we are always trying to bring you uh, the very best uh, information and insights on how to really uh, be able to attack the market that we're in, get great data and be able to obviously succeed as a real estate agent trying to work the market. No? So, and I think today it's a very interesting point of, of, of where we're at and there's a lot of confusion or uncertainty of why my sales might be slowing down, certain markets that are high-end that people were very into buying uh, cash in the last period are, are you know not becoming so hot anymore and there's so many listings now for sale but yet there's amazing opportunities that realtors and agents should capitalize on and be able to really work very well but for that there's always the first step which is educating yourself on market data, market statistics that really talk to you and what's going on to be able to then make sound decisions. So let me, let me ask you, Enrique, I know we've been working a lot on creating this data-rich uh, environment and, and what is it that uh, we're going to be talking today was, was part of a research that was conducted and I want right. you to you know, right. tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Definitely, I'd love to uh, share with you guys and, and I think like Andres says in bringing that concept home is you know in every market, whether it's going up or down, there's truly opportunity. The question is how you find it, how you analyze for it, and how you dig into it. And uh, Avanti Way took the initiative about six or seven months ago, and Therese and I uh, decided to do an incredible study of all of Miami-Dade County and Broward County with Eli Baraj, which is the leader on the real estate FIU section for the master's program. So a very brilliant guy, uh, incredible uh, statistician to really analyze data. And we compiled and, and looked at all the possible opportunities that exist. And in today's market, you're seeing a phenomenon basically where many of the markets, the renters that are actually renting are paying more than actually the cost of ownership, which is a huge opportunity for realtors uh, to go out there and target these people and convert them into actual buyers. So there's a lot of money to be made in this, in this actual market that you see. And I think that that's driven on my side, and I'm sure you're going to add some things to this on this, is driven by the fact that the lending industry, at least in the overall uh, picture of the Tri-County, is not really lending money to consumers that easily because the only one buying those loans is Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, which are FHA loans and it's very strict in their product and because interest rates haven't increased, basically you're not getting an influx of banks coming up with their own loans to portfolio and keep on their pipelines to really really enhance the, the consumers to have the money to really inject into the industry. I know you have another great angle on, on some of the things that hold back uh, that back. Well, yes, yeah, so some of the things that, that have happened is throughout this whole time in the, in the Miami or South Florida real estate market, we've had mm -hmm. such an influx of cash. That's cash buyers coming in Good point. and buying and beating anybody that had also financing. And, and you know, as, as you can see in a graph, uh, the normally when you have cash transactions that are coming up right. in the market, the medium prices start going it's down. It's driven down. It's Completely. driven down. And then the investors are the ones that are beating everybody to right. the punch with cash. And renters, right. we went through a whole financial crisis that did not allow the middle market to really right. Wow. get access to loans anyway at that point and they don't know and they're not sure if they can get loans right now. Right. Many of them can because the FHA loans etc that are coming out right. now these renters can actually start getting right. these loans yes. and they are the emotional buyers so if, right. if, if you can you can start finding out the areas in which those renters uh, are better off right. buying and right. getting access to this financing right. Right. than really staying renting. Uh, this is where we would try to actually analyze and see, okay, there's some opportunities there because a lot of realtors are just focused on what was bringing them the money. Right, in the, the past, opportunity, the pre-construction, uh, the simple sale, the opportunity for the investor, and, that, and that's basically changing, and, shifting. And with what Andres just said, it's truly what we were able to put together with this professor doing regressions and very very complex and amazing way it was very fun and challenging to get this amazing. information and i think as a company we now hold amazing data where agents can really focus in and attacking markets and some of the things you see to get an idea for example in Doral, to be very specific in average when you grab the whole entire zip code you see a negative 10 percent in terms of the premium of renting versus buying. So to be an owner, it's 10% cheaper 
in today's market. So to put this in, in, uh, numbers, in numbers for you, it costs you $2,000 a month to, let's say, live in, in that area in a property that you would rent. rent. Basically, you would save $200 a month. It would cost you only $1,800 a month. And you're a homeowner. Deal. And you're a homeowner. With and everything and all the cost included. And all the budget. benefits that come out to you. So that's an incredible market there. Um, I, was, I saw you were analyzing Brickell, for example. What did you see yeah, there? there? There's a complete shift. If you analyze zip codes like uh, 33139 in right. Brickell or 33140, which is you know Miami Beach, uh, right. not South Beach. South Beach also uh, is around the same number. Like Brickell, you had 30%, 30 points positive. Positive. Wow. And Miami Beach, you had uh, 42 in 33139 and 48. Wow. Positive wow. in 33140. Uh, three, what does this mean? What does this mean? This means yeah. that there is much cheaper to rent than to buy. So that's why also in those places the rental prices stay high. And even with an influx of new apartments, for example, right. in Brickell that are coming, you're not seeing rental values coming down, coming down. so fast because it's still cheaper. Yeah to rent right. and to buy because of the prices that are happening there. So it depends on each market. We've, right. we've been, very good, we've say we've been very good fans of the of the always the middle market right. and the market that really right. uh, trades on on, 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 on high on, volume. On high volume. And those are markets that you should try to really look into right now as financing is opened up and we want to give you some right. strategies on how to really attack these places. Some of the other markets, for example, that we saw there. Uh, yeah, South uh, Miami was negative with 20%, 20 percent, which is months. interesting. So imagine $2,000 you're paying there a month, you're saving $400 a month by being an, an owner. That's a big, big, big saving. That, that's, that's a no thinker for the tenants. The, the problem that I see, and it's very interesting that you brought up the point of Brickle, because um, when you're analyzing more the, the middle class markets of $250,000 to $400,000, you're really seeing a different phenomenon, which is the finance phenomenon I was telling you, where these people would love to turn around and buy, but if banks don't come up with unique products for the, for the condos and townhouses, it's pretty difficult. But the beautiful thing, like you were saying, FHA, and if you have the right mortgage broker to in your team, we'll obviously explain this to you. FHA does have a lot of possibilities to do these unique loans and start activating these people. I read a study the other day as well that came out from uh, the Florida Realtors Association, mm -hmm. and it basically stated that uh, out of 18 million people that live in Florida, 4 million are qualified, ready to buy, and they're not buying. In today's in today's market, so out of the eighteen million, we're talking. What is that? That's uh, that ends up being more or less almost twenty percent of the of the Miami market sitting in a sideline, right? That can actually buy and haven't started. And I ask myself why, 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 why? why? And, it, and it seems what comes back to me is a lot of people got traumatized in two thousand six, two thousand seven. They're sitting it's in the lack of education. They don't yeah. know. There you go. They just don't know that they right. can. They need right. that right advisor to let right. them know, listen, you're renting here. Right. Imagine using a payment calculator, et cetera, and the right, the right mortgage uh, uh, ally right. within this, this, this campaign to let you know if you want to stay in a condo or in a townhome, et cetera, just the way you have it right, right now. But instead of renting, you were able to buy, this is how much it would save you and you would have other benefits like Tax uh, benefits, tax benefits uh, homestead, equity, homestead, five hundred thousand dollars in free money of, of tax appreciation. So there's a there's a lot of benefits, and I think that realtors today also have to understand something because the market is changing right now. It's something extremely beneficial for these renters. Why? Because you can get seller contributions, something right. that right. disappeared from our market. And back in 2006 and 2005 were really big drivers to the markets that were going on. And I truly believe that today, seller concessions are going to be something that you can actually negotiate and now you can get the tenant to move in literally with first, last and security, put a down payment on a house and actually buy it. Actually so, buy it. so it's actually possible. Now, who needs to drive this? are the agents. It's you guys with that power to get out to the consumer with this information, identify your markets. Um, our Avanti Way agents will be receiving a whole entire uh, study with all the zip codes and all the premium percentages so that they can handpick which zip codes they should focus on and go attack these markets and educate these people to give them the American dream. That's what they all love to to see and be able to do. And I think we as a as a group with this type of information can really help these people achieve that. I agree. And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a big shift of, of trying to think of the international buyer constantly coming in with 
cash right. and buying and shifting right. it to right. the buyer that's the emotional buyer that's right. willing to not only pay more cash because it's something that they're going to live in right. and there's a lot of people that might be international people right. but that are already shifting a lot of countries are getting a lot of influx of people that are coming to live in Miami because right. Miami is also becoming a place with more workplaces right. and with it becoming a global city and creating a lot of great stuff and new jobs for people right. so think about those relocations as well that are coming here and and, 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 and are going to be, be living there so prices whenever there's financing that opens up tend to go up so completely. so that's completely so as we said it before in this less graph. cash purchases the medium price always goes up and you look historically at that in the data and it always proves to be right Correct. little cash transactions the price increases and we're sitting with a lot of consumers on the sidelines that can actually move forward to purchase all they need is a good knowledgeable realtor to get them there again again it's about content it's about being able to educate these people in creating targeted campaigns for the specific right. zip codes or places that you can identify or we can actually in the in the ones the agents that are going to receive this right. as well identify which ones are close to your market area to your target and start it's finding the right marketing person with the right, right mortgage person and together creating maybe you can target a building maybe you can target a community right. or a whole area of a zip code and make sure that you can add value to them letting them know why it is the benefit of them not renting and then buying right. this is the month and this cup this this next phase that a realtor that's not attacking that it's leaving a lot on the table right. it might be right. you know holding listings right. in high-end areas that are just going to take time to sell uh, right. as you have so right. many listings right. with unrealistic prices right. in those areas right. now. and and like in everything we always uh, and there's and i always share with the agents truly focus on people that have urgency and motivation and when they don't have urgency and motivation and you provide them a deal like we just said right now where hey you're going to save four hundred dollars a month by owning versus renting you're great. anybody's gonna jump on it and you create that urgency and motivation so we thank you for participating in today's uh, second episode i hope the information was great and useful for you and and helps you in your future so we look forward to seeing you soon and anything you need just give us a shout write to us or let us know we're always open to questions and making sure that we give you the best information to really get the best consumer experience for the people that you're dealing with okay have a wonderful day thank you so much